<gasps> I know I'm in the same jumper that I've been in for a couple of videos, okay? It's fine. It's only been 20 minutes for me. Anyway, hello! I've had my coffee, so I'm like bouncing off walls right now. So, ooh, fluff. Anyway, we are here today because Allegra is a pain in the butt. Yep, I said it. So the Allegra design, it, it, it's it's challenging. Let, let's use that word challenging. It's challenging. So Allegra is a bit more difficult than we expected. We've, <laughs> we've done the second skin. We've done the flat pattern drafting. And this video is making the Allegra. Also, I thought, so I thought, I started making the Allegra in the denim. I'd done a calico sample, but I hadn't done a lining in it. I just cut out the patterns to see if they fitted the way I wanted them to. And I was like, yes, it's good. Do it. So it that is what I did. So I started cutting it out this denim and it's really high quality denim. So it's thick. It's nice. So I cut these pattern pieces out and this is the video of me like trying to pull, pull it all together and make it work and it didn't really do that. The pattern I think works but I think the fabric choices are where I've dropped the ball. Because I chose a denim, denim is fine, you, you, can, you can work with denim, it's just that I wanted to line it. I wanted to line this really intricate, strappy design of Allegra and I wanted to bag it out, which means you sew right sides together and you leave like a little gap and you flip it all inside out and it's all like neat and stuff. Honestly, I don't know how I could be so stupid. The fabric was too thick to do that. It didn't like it when I tried it. I am hopefully going to make it in a different fabric, but I've had to kind of pause Allegra for a bit. But this is the video of where I got up to with her, um, how she's looking, and you can probably see the issues that I'm having with it. There's no words. Just watch it. <laughs> You'll see. But I hope you have a lovely day, and I will see you...